everyone welcome to pharma chemistry classroom today we are going to discuss factors affecting substitution nucleophilic reaction that is sn1 and sn2 reaction first factor is nature of the substrate next nature of the nucleophile third factor nature of the leaving group and nature of the solvent so here nature of the all components that is from substrate to solvent affect the rate of sn1 and sn2 reaction now we'll see the factors affecting sn2 reaction what is sn2 reaction where mainly primary alkyl halides undergo substitution with the nucleophile here you can see methyl bromide react with oh minus and get a substituted product which is methyl alcohol as i told in the first slide the nature of the substrate nucleophile nature of the leaving group nature of the solvents are the four factors affecting sn reaction same factors here we are going to discuss in detail first factor nature of the substrate we know that unhindered alkyl halides undergo sn2 reaction faster here the space fili models will show actually what happen when the relative size of the alkyl halide increases this is methyl halide back side of the alpha carbon of the methyl halide he is unhindered this is primary alkyl halide it is slightly hindered and this is secondary alkyl halide is mostly hindered and this is a tertiary alkyl halide it is completely blocked so as it is given here back side of the methyl halide is unhindered that is this alpha carbon atom is unhindered so substitution is very easily that is nucleophile can come and attach easily on the alpha carbon atom remember alpha carbon is the carbon containing leaving group here it is bro, uh, any halide so, uh, so here you can see primary alkyl halide it is slightly hindered but still nucleophile can come and attack secondary alkyl halide the alpha carbon is mostly hindered and it's difficult for a nucleophile to come and attach but in case of tertiary alkyl halide it is completely blocked so it is a very much sterically hindered carbon alpha carbon atom is here that is why tertiary alkyl halides will not undergo as in two reaction this is a uh, effect of primary secondary and tertiary alkyl halides on sn2 reaction now we will see how aryl and vinyl halides undergo sn2 reaction what happen if aryl and vinyl halides are the substrate so see here this is a vinyl halide vinyl bromide this is a bromobenzene is a aryl halide since there is a pi bond present what happen is the p orbitals of the carbons which form the pi bond completely block the entry of nucleophile so therefore the overlapping of p orbital that form the pi bond in vinyl and aryl halide completely block the access of the nucleophile Uh, that is why it is very difficult or almost uh, it's impossible for sn2 reaction to take place on vinyl and aryl halides next point is how the nature of nucleophile affect the rate of sn2 reaction what is nucleophile nucleophile is the electron donor better the nucleophile better the sn2 reaction now you can see a table which shows uh, some uh, reactivity of nucleophiles stronger acid like uh, hso4 minus h2po4 minus and uh, organic acid they are very weak nucleophiles and uh, same way you can see here uh, alcohols water etc are weaker and um, when uh, you come here down you can see cn minus hs minus etc and even oh minus is a very good nucleophile 
so better the nucleophile first will be the sn2 reaction how easily a nucleophile donates electron to an electron acceptor that faster sn2 reaction take place now we'll see the nature of the leaving group how does the nature of the leaving group affect sn2 reaction leaving groups are halogen atom attached to a substrate substrate is here alkyl halide so what happened when there is a heterolytic fission take place this halide or halogen atom leaves the alkyl halide taking its electron pair with it as a negatively charged anion the groups with uh, which stabilize a negative charge are the best leaving group that is bases like uh, weak bases like i minus is a very good leaving group but the hydroxyl group oh minus is a poor leaving group because oh minus is a strong base it cannot stay as a negatively charged anion they immediately donate its electron uh, pair to an electron acceptor so i minus ions which can uh, stay as an anion as best leaving group weak lewis bases are best leaving group now how does the nature of the solvent affect sn2 reaction there are three classes of organic solvents present and they are polar protic solvent polar aprotic solvent and non polar solvent in the coming slides we'll see how these three categories affect the nature of sn2 reaction we'll see in detail how polar protic solvents Uh, slows down the SN2 reaction. Remember, SN2 reaction will be slow in S in polar protic solvents. How this happen? We'll see. Protic solvents. Here you can see some examples: water, methanol, ethanol, etc. And when this when these polar protic solvents are used in SN2 reaction, they solve the nucleophile. Solve it means they cluster around this. nucleophile see here nx minus and these are polar protic solvents they solve this nucleophile through hydrogen bonding so what happen it reduces their nucleophilicity so this clustering reduces the nucleophilicity of our nucleophile thus they cannot go and attach on the alpha carbon of the alkyl halide weighting okay a solvated nucleophile has difficulty in hitting the alpha carbon when nucleophile is not going for the reaction obviously the sn2 reaction slows down now about polar aprotic solvents what are polar aprotic solvents they are like acetone which contain a strong dipole but there is no oh or nh2 group the uh, polar aprotic solvents speed up the sn2 reaction how does they speed up the sn2 reaction see here some examples for polar aprotic solvent acetone nitrile acetone etc look at here polar aprotic solvents solvate cations solve polar aprotic solvents solvates the cation see here this is a reactant which donates nucleophile to the alkyl halide okay so see here ch3 coo minus is our nucleophile so when it dissolve in a protic solvent this a protic solvents leaves this nucleophile but they solve the cation so cation does not have any role in sn2 reaction we want our nucleophile nucleophile is free so this nucleophile can go and attack the alkyl halide this is how polar aprotic solvents like acetone acetone nitrile increase the rate of sn2 reaction or they speed up the rate of sn2 reaction non polar solvents like benzene carbon tetrachloride hexane do not solvate or stabilize nucleophiles that is why what happen they uh, they uh, this sn2 reactions are relatively slow in non polar solvents benzene carbon tetrachloride hexane etc now we will summarize all the factors 
nature of the substrate in SN2 reaction, methyl in primary alkyl halides undergo easily, nature of the nucleophile better the nucleophile faster the rate of SN2 reaction, nature of the leaving group the weakest bases facilitate the SN2 reaction that is weakest bases are better leaving groups, nature of the solvent protic solvent slows down the SN2 reaction, Polar aprotic solvents speed up the SN2 reaction. Non-polar solvents do not solvate or stabilize nucleophile. That is why it slows down the reaction. Thank you. Thank you. Hope it helped you. Please like, share and subscribe and keep watching Pharma Chemistry Classroom.